Wow, oh, there's a fish. Uh, those are carp, but still, there are fish. Oh man, look at that, more carp. Guys, look at this place. Look at this ultra clear water. What is going on, guys? I am so excited for today's video. Guys, we are in the kayak, exploring a brand new spot. Now, I have been at this spot once before, uh, it, but you know, I just fished from shore off at this very just specific spot off this bridge, actually, and I caught a trout when I was little. But I think the last time I was at this spot, I was 11 years old. I've never explored this whole swath of river. It is spring-fed. It spring-fed ultra clear because we're gonna be trout fishing maybe even there might be some some creek sturgeon swimming around here i don't even know what because it, I'm, I'm brand new to this spot too let's stop talking and let's just start exploring and seeing if we can find some trout that's mostly i'm hoping for some trout for dinner and and then maybe some bass i don't know i don't know let's just see let's just start exploring and let's see with the kayak this this is so cool guys there's a big trout right here big trout oh i'm excited guys i cannot tell you I, there, there's it's a double whammy for me today number one i get to explore places i've never been to and number two we get to clear water fish which is one of my favorite things and we have the possibility i mean imagine like an eight foot sturgeon laying on the bottom right here that's the possibility for today you know what we're gonna do guys we're gonna go crazy here i actually want to check out let's see what we can see with the drone now I've never taken my drone off from my kayak, so I am a little bit nervous about this. Let's get see if we get this thing off the ground first, and let's see what we can see. All right, let's take a look at this creek. It's actually kind of hard to see for me because it's so bright out here. It's hard to see on my cell phone screen. But later on, I'll probably be able to see more. I think there's a fish by this rock here. That rock right in the center of the screen. Yeah, there are a couple of them. A small one. And a big one. That small one looks like it might be a trout. What is that? Oh, scaring them away. Oh, I got too close. Oh, guys, that might be a trout, actually. That might be just a huge trout. Wow, we got a lot of trout to target today. And look, you can see, guys, check that out. See how, how the, there's the main river where these springs flow into the main river. That's what you're looking at right there. That's why I'm excited. Like, you never know when sturgeon can swim up from the main river into these creeks. It is so cool. Especially during certain times of the year. It's like even way more. Oh, man. This is so cool. Let's see if we can find a sturgeon, and then we'll get to fishing real quick. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that one right there? Look at all the fish. A lot of them. Let's get closer here. Look at all the fish, man. There are tons of fish hanging out down there. Okay, that's not, I thought that, I thought right in the center of the screen there that was a sturgeon. Usually the sturgeons stand out really well because they're black on top. Oh wait, there's, there might be a sturgeon. See that thing right there? That might be a sturgeon. Or a really big carp. Oh, I don't think that's a sturgeon. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that might be. It's so hard to tell because I'm just looking through my phone screen. I'll be able to tell better later. Oops, oops. That's not really acting like a sturgeon, actually. That almost looks like a giant trout to me. Oh, there's a sturgeon. Right there. No, no, those are carp. 
You know, I can't tell if those, well, look at those two big dudes. Are those carp or are those sturgeon? You know, it's hard to tell. I'm not really sure, but there are a lot of fish down there. Well, I can't really tell what those fish are, but guys, we have a lot of fish down here to target. And they love this clear water. Let's get fishing. Well, this should be interesting. I'm gonna have to go in backwards, otherwise the sensors will... Uh... Don't try that at home, kids. I see trout hitting the surface. Man, look at this spot. Isn't this gorgeous? All right, guys, it's time to get fishing. There's a trout that just keeps hanging out right over there. I have something to show you guys, it's pretty cool. And check it out, telescopic fishing rod. This is a high altitude rod and it's an actual nice um, telescopic fishing rod. One of my subscribers was like, hey, I make a really nice fishing rod um, that's telescopic if you want to try it. And I said, sure. This is the third time using this, if you guys have noticed, and it's worked really well. So I'll put a link to it in the description if you guys want to check it out. So here's where we're going to start off trying to fool these trout. Look at how tiny that hook is. I'm using a very small hook and we are using four pound test line today, guys, because we didn't need every advantage we can get in this ultra clear water. And then I have some Atlas Mike's garlic e salmon eggs. We're just gonna put one or two on at a time. Let's see if this fools the trout. When you're fishing in ultra clear water, guys, give yourself every advantage you can. Get that four pound test line. It doesn't take a lot. You can go to Walmart and get a little half a spool, a four pound test line, get some really tiny hooks, use the smallest hooks possible. Oh, I think, I, I think I just had him. I, I wasn't watching, I was busy talking. All right, let's try this again, guys. Rainbow trout, right here. Look, guys. Guys, I got a red drag. Oh, did you see that red dragonfly landed on me? I think that's good luck, isn't it? Oh, got one, got one. <laughs> it's like, isn't that good luck? I caught a trout or not I haven't caught him yet let's see yes rainbow trout first fish of the day there we go guys trout not a big one but first fish of the day that dragonfly was lucky he swallowed the hook um there is no size limit to him down here so we are going to keep oh you know it might be six inch six or eight inches either way it's not very big this guy is definitely a keeper oh, for this area that is what I call sturgeon bait right there and backup food if we don't catch any other ones. Well guys, the water at this waterfall was good to us. Whoa, steering wrong here, but let's keep moving. Let's try to find some more. Oh guys, guys, did you see that? See that? Check out some of the size of those the trout. I don't know if you guys can see that with the camera, but they are sweet. In fact, let me just, I want to show you guys with my underwater camera. guys so I'm anchored down right here and all a bunch of fish just I'm just gonna fish this whole area right in here 
Same setup as before. Little Atlas Bite Salmon Eggs 2 on the tiny hook. Let's throw it out there. Guys, wait, way down there. I can see a big trout. Now, he's, he's quite a ways down, but he's sitting in this little hole. And I'm just going to try to lower the bait back, way back there, to him. Got him! Guys, this is a good trout. It, it, oh, this is a good trout. I saw a swirl it came, as it came up and just slashed it. This is a good trout. Oh, that was so cool. I saw my little, the little, oh, it's a good, good one. Saw the little eggs right on the surface come up. Whoosh. No hesitation. Oh, wait till you see how beautiful this fish is. Oh, this is so much fun, guys. Oh. Got four pound test line, so I have to be real careful. Well, maybe not that careful. But I have to be real careful with these. Because even a medium sized trout can break my line. Oh, I just barely have them on the bottom of the lip. Look at that trout, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, barely got him. Don't move. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 hey. Guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that trout right there. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about right there. Pink trout. Look how he just barely, with that teeny tiny hook, right in the bottom of the lip right there. All right, got him on a stringer. Look at that, look at compared to that little trout I caught earlier. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That, <laughs> you can't almost eat that little one. Oh, that is so sweet, guys. We're gonna have such a good dinner off this boy. Pink, probably super pink meat in there. Oh, man. All right, just cut more salmon eggs on. Let's see if we can get another one. For a trout, that was a smokage. Normally trout are just kind of grab onto it, but that one really attacked it. I think this cold water makes them feistier. There we go, not a big guy. And the bottom lip again, that's so curious and why I'm getting them in the bottom lip. I think this is a wild one. That's why he smoked it so much. Yeah, this one has like pink fins. Because the one I caught earlier was a stocked one. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, and there he goes. Well, you couldn't really see it. The, the big one that I have on the stringer, or both, both the fish I have on the stringer are stocked ones. That was definitely a wild one. All right, guys, here is the new plan. We're just gonna drift downstream, just like this. And I'm just gonna sight fish for these bad boys. Just gonna drift down, and when I see one, I'll cast toward it, and uh, hopefully we'll pick off some more on the way down. Could not get another one of those, could not get another one of those ones in that hole to bite. The water is clear, so maybe when they see one of them get picked off, it scares the other ones. I don't know. This is crazy. Look at the water clarity difference, guys. Isn't that insane? You know, I'm just used to looking at the river and be, that's being normal, but it's really, you know, so I don't think about it that much, but it's really insane to see the contrast. Okay, so the reason why I'm not talking to the camera in these next couple of clips is because I did not realize the camera was on. But now I'm kind of glad that it was because I got a great uh, blooper shot for the blooper reel. Um, so I'm setting up my drone. I'm just going to throw the drone up to get a couple more shots of the river. And like I said, I didn't even know my camera's on. Start her up. And... <laughs> I don't... I... Gets caught in my own fishing line. I didn't even. I was just at this point. I was so relieved. Well, guys, I didn't even realize my GoPro was on, but now I'm, I'm kind of glad that I that it was. Kind of glad that it wasn't. Anyway, my go, drone dropped in the water, but fortunately, it it's. I got it back. It was didn't sink and go away. Uh, I'm gonna dry this out. I just dried it off with my shirt. Took my shirt off. Dried it off. So we're gonna uh, let this dry off thoroughly, and hopefully, it's not dead. I hope. Guys, here we are, end of the day, sun's starting to go down, it's time to start cooking some trout. Some of you guys have been after me. Uh, well, I would say I have been accused of eating 
too much protein or nothing but protein in my meals, that is gonna stop, guys. Today, we're gonna have Spam with our trout. Mm, I love Spam. And so we're gonna have that with the trout just to mix it up, and we have a potato as well. So let's get things fired up. You know, the great thing about Spam is it's just so versatile. You could have it for breakfast, Spam and eggs. You can have it for lunch, Spam sandwich. Or you can have it for dinner. You just fry it up. And the great thing is it comes with its own oil, so you don't even need to put oil in the pan. And you know, it just, it's really like the most important meal of the day when you think about it. Cool thing about Spam too is, oh man, look at that. Look how just crispy, just a little bit. Mm. Great thing about it too, it doesn't need any seasonings. It's so flavorful. All by itself, you just cook it like this. Mm. You know, they should serve this at Cracker Barrel as vegetable of the day. Whoa, 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 almost flipped. Piping hot Spam, ooh. Had a little cattywampus. Almost watched biggest blooper of the year right there. I'm actually putting together a blooper reel of the different things that have happened. The drone thing makes it in if my GoPro was pointing the right way. So as we remove the final pieces of Spam, cooked to pure perfection, I would like you guys to observe the oils left behind. We shall cook the trout in the oil of the spam. I promise it is non-stick. We will salt the bottom. I've actually been doing this lately. If you guys, this was sent to me by a subscriber, by the way. If you guys have been watching, I've been doing this a lot where I salt the bottom of the pan. Makes it way easier than holding the fish in my hands. Then we just add the fish to there. And we season this side. The salt to this side. Oh, barely fits. I got a bigger, slightly bigger pan than the last one. So, uh, yeah, I can kind of hold. There we go. Now we're fitting. Beautiful. Season up the inside of this bad boy here. Mm -hmm. I love fresh trout. Below, I better tend to my trout here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to add a squirt of lime juice to these. Since we already have the chili lime flavored. So first of all, we'll, we'll get them kind of wet with some lime, put some of that on the inside, and then we'll add the seasoning to it. Mmm, that Spam is good. I've eaten almost a whole can of Spam while the trout's been cooking. I only have three pieces left. That's good Spam. All right, the filet and trout. I wish I had my tongue. They broken. Anyway, the filet and trout is done. Fine. Oh, looks amazing. And then, yes, we will have some vegetables with the meat. So I thought nothing better than frying some potatoes in spam fat and golden butter. Mmm, there we go, vegetable of the day. See, I can eat healthy too. This is a man's meal right here. Trout fried in Spam. Got a splash of lime right off the bat. Hmm. One second. Big juicy piece of trout. You know, to be perfectly honest, I'm always honest with, on my channel. I don't bone. I don't make things and pretend that it's good even if it's not. Because that's not what it's about. I mean, if I try a frog and a frog's no good, I don't want you guys to be eating frogs. Frogs are good, by the way. To tell you the truth, this trout isn't super tasty. Like, I can tell that I can tell this is a stocked one for sure. And it, it's definitely palatable. Don't get me wrong. But it pales in comparison to the wild trout. I thought that the Spam would really pick, you know, really do something for it. I love the Spam. What I need to do is go up in the mountains and get one of those wild ones. We need to go up in the mountains again. Go up in the mountains and catch some wild trout. It's good. I'll eat the whole thing. Just not amazing. 
Guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. If you guys want to check out another Catch and Cook video, it'll be right there. Check it out. It's probably good. Like Catch and Cook Piranha, Octopus, Frogs, Crawfish, something good. And uh, I'm still fishing for that Spam sponsorship. So if Spam or anybody that uh, works at Spam is, 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 you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.